morning, you guys. I'm not even gonna lie to you right now and tell you that I'm not eating apple crisp at, what time is it? 7 a.m. It's still, it's fine. Mm. So good. Mm. I'm also not gonna lie to you and tell you I haven't been doing this for the past couple days. It's just so good. Today we are doing another full day of eating and we're starting with apple crisp. Okay guys, so for this full day of eating, I was watching a couple different full days of eatings from other YouTubers because I'm doing a couple diet reviews and I just wanted to see what people who follow those diets actually eat in a day. And I just thought it was so funny because people are literally like putting flowers on their food and plating it up. And yes, I feel like sometimes I'll plate my food, but I'm just gonna give it to you raw and real today. And like I said, I'm eating apple crisp out of a container at seven o'clock in the morning. It's just real life. It's not all plated food with flowers. And sometimes you have dessert for breakfast and it's fine. I'm delicious. In my last full day of eating video, a lot of you asked me to do a little bit more of the nutrition kind of behind my choices. So I'm gonna incorporate some of that in today's video. And there really isn't, I mean, a rhyme or reason. Fruit sounded good in the morning. I do like to have some sort of a carb if I'm planning to do any exercise. I think I'm gonna go for a run this morning. We'll see how I feel. I had a pretty sedentary day yesterday, so I'm feeling like I've got some energy. So I do like to make sure that I have just some sort of fuel in me. That's actually something that's changed since quarantine started. So I used to always get up and go right to the gym like at like five o'clock in the morning, but I've had kind of slower mornings since the gyms aren't open. So when I did that, I wouldn't really eat anything in the morning because I just literally hopped out of bed. But now that mornings are slower, I need some energy in me before I do any workouts because my workouts tend to be later if I do them. Later in the morning, I am not an evening workout person. So I like to make sure that I have some carb in the morning. It's usually like a muffin or something, but I made this the other day and it sounded good. So that's what I'm having. So I'm going to have some more of this and then I will check back in with you if I go for a run or not. And I'll show you what I have post-workout if I go for a run. I think I'm going to. It sounds good. I'm also going to make sure that I have some water because otherwise I just like can feel it if I go for a run and I don't have enough water. So I've been trying to have a glass of water in the morning. So I'm going to get myself some of that. Cheers. Okay guys, so went for my run. I walked for half of it, totally fine. I just didn't feel like running. Never force yourself. Working out should make you feel good, not like you are punishing yourself or feel like you have to do something. It's whatever feels good. And for me today, that was walking for half of it. So totally fine, made myself. I have smoothies a lot. I usually just kind of change up whatever I put in them. I have kind of like, a base recipe that I use, I'll put it in the description. Firmly believe that the key to a thick, creamy smoothie is a full banana pudding mix. I put that in there. And when you think it's done, keep blending it even more because it's always gonna get creamier and more fluffy. In my smoothie, I always try to have some sort of protein. I've used protein powder in this one. You can also use Greek yogurt or tofu you can even put in smoothies. Smoothies are so versatile. I try to have some sort of protein, especially if I did a workout before because that's gonna help my muscles recover. I put some blueberries in there too. With pudding mix, like I said, I just feel like it, it adds sweetness, but it also makes it like really thick. Try it, guys. Almond butter, I always try to have some fat in it. Usually I'm a whole milk kind of gal, to be honest but my husband and I have been cycling through the different types of milk and right now we're on oat milk. I don't know, I don't notice it that much when I put it in smoothies, but I always try to have a source of fat in it. That's why I really like whole milk because it has some protein in there and some fat. So I made sure that I added some almond butter because the oat milk that we have is pretty low in fat and fat helps to keep me feel full and satisfied. And then I also topped this with my fave granola, birthday cake granola. So that's what we have here. So I'm gonna go ahead the best part is the granola on top when it gets like a little bit mushy. Mmm. Drops. Drop them. So good. I try not to work at the same time as I eat breakfast, so I'll try to push my computer away because it just helps me to actually feel more satisfied and actually 
feel my fullness more. So plans for the day, Thursday's my YouTube day. So today's Thursday, if I hadn't told you that. So I'm doing a lot of research today. I'm going to be doing some more diet reviews. I know you guys love those. So I'm doing a lot of research for those and it takes kind of a lot to research these. But one thing I want to kind of change in the way that I'm doing diet reviews is, I'll be honest with you, with some of my past ones, I feel like I've been very like, <sighs> like we know I don't like diets, so I'm perhaps not gonna agree with the diets that I'm reviewing. But guys, I truly do believe that a lot of people who do create these diets think that they're doing good. And I just wanna approach it with a little bit more of a lens of, kindness. So that's something that I'm going to be kind of changing, but I'm still going to give you the facts. I'm still going to give you my opinion. So be on the lookout for those to come. Whole food plant-based diet is one that I have coming up. Um, if it fits your macros and flexible dieting. So if there are any specific ones that you want me to look into, drop them in the comments and let me know. I'm going to finish my smoothie. I'm going to try to, like I said, hold off on that. I'm not perfect with my non-distracted meals, I'll be honest. So I'm going to finish this and then I'll catch you guys later. Okay guys, I'm going to make some lunch. So this morning I did test a muffin recipe and I had myself a bite of muffin. These are pumpkin muffins. I knew I wanted to test the muffins. I might adjust them a little bit still, but I wanted to taste them. I only needed a bite. I want to be able to have my lunch, but I'm not gonna force myself to wait until after I eat my lunch to try some if I want to. So had a bite, now I'm going to grab my lunch. So this week's lunch is kind of strange. I'm not usually a huge meal prep person, but I was testing a recipe for taco pasta. So I, made a big batch of it and I wanted to make sure that I'm using it during the week. So let me show you how I've been eating it. Okay, so here's what we've got. I warmed up my pasta right here. Honestly, it's literally just like the insides of a taco. So in essence, I'm making a taco salad, guys. I don't feel like this is weird. And I asked you on my Instagram stories and you didn't think it was weird either. So, and then I'm just gonna throw some slices of avocado in there and then I'm gonna mix it all up. Okay, so we gotta talk about this bowl here for a second. I've been showing it on my Instagram stories and you guys love and I'm obsessed too. So it's this giant bowl and it comes with this chopper. And so you just literally like chop it. It's literally amazing. So let's have some YouTube magic here and let me chop it. Ta-da! So you literally have a perfectly chopped salad. Amazing. I really hate food waste, you guys. So sometimes <laughs> my husband makes fun of me because I literally like make substitutions in order to prevent food waste. Like rather than just making a taco salad, I'm gonna use the taco pasta salad because I want to use that up. My husband calls me the queen of like not quite the right substitutions, but it works. So that's what we're having. I'm gonna go eat my lunch. Very excited about this. It's good, guys. I'll link to the bowl in the description of this. It's like 25 bucks, guys. Literally like the best thing ever. And then I'm also going to link to these silicone muffin liners. Guys, I'm obsessed with these things. Again, it's they're like 10 bucks, I think, and it came with like 45. They're gonna make your life so much easier. So, and love it, cut down on waste. So I'll link to those too, but I'm going to go enjoy my big salad. a little snacky this afternoon and that's okay. Feeling hungry? 
honoring it. Okay, it is almost five o'clock right now and my parents are coming over in like an hour. So I'm going to get everything ready for dinner now so that I don't have to worry about it later. So on the menu tonight, I'm going to make some chicken tenders. I'll show you how I'm gonna do those. Yeah. We're going to have corn with it and some Brussels sprouts. So let me show you what I'm making. Okay, for the chicken, I always just buy big things of just chicken breasts like this and then cut it up into just two person portions, what me and my husband would eat. And then I'll take those out of the freezer. It's just a good way to save money. So I'm gonna cut those into just strips. And then I'm going to put some cornflakes and then I have some garlic powder here and some onion powder and salt. And I'm just going to put that into the blender and pulse it up. And then I'm going to dip my chicken in some milk and then into the cornflakes. My preferred way of cooking is the air fryer. Guys, I'm obsessed with my air fryer, mostly because it's so freaking fast. It takes like 15 minutes to cook. I mean, like start to finish. And it doesn't heat up the whole house, which it's summer right now, so I dig that. I'm going to just boil corn on the stove and then probably put the, I don't know, I might be able to fit the Brussels sprouts in the air fryer. I got a new air fryer. We'll see if I put them there or on the grill. The air fryer that I got, new. My other one pooped out on me after three, like three and a half years. So this one's much bigger and I can fit a lot more things and I'm super excited. So that's what we've got going for dinner. I'm probably going to make some of my copycat Chick-fil-A sauce to go with these. I'll put that in the description. I have it on my blog. It's so good. I could eat it with a spoon. So that's what we're going to have for dinner. So I'm going to get that all prepared and then I'll show you the final result and then I'm gonna go spend some time with my parents. So I'll see you later. Okay guys, dinner is ready. My husband is going to be home any second and we are going to eat. So made those chicken tenders, made some corn. Always put butter in your corn if you want to guys. It makes it taste way better. Brussels sprouts, I was able to fit the Brussels sprouts in the air fryer highly recommend the air fryer and get that size. Always get bigger than you think. I'll link to it in the description, the one that I have. And I made some copycat Chick-fil-A sauce. I have a recipe for that too, so I'll put that in the description too. Going to wait for him to get home. Enjoy, I haven't seen him since this morning, so I just, we always eat dinner together, so love it. I'm real hungry right now, so I'm gonna go twiddle my thumbs should be home any minute. Just a reminder guys, I haven't said this yet today. These full days of eatings are just to give you some ideas on what to eat. These are not to tell you what you should be eating or how much to eat. You see, it isn't even how I eat every single day because literally every day is different. This is just today. So this is just for funsies and to give you a little inspo. Okay guys, dinner was delish and now I'm gonna have some ice cream. So this is some ice cream that I made. It's no churn ice cream, birthday cake flavor, delicious. I actually made it on my Instagram stories. So if I can link to that, I'll link to it in the description. Otherwise it's from Maya Warren. She's fabulous. Ice cream scientist, you gotta follow her. But I'm gonna post it, I'll put a picture here of what it, what it looked like when I first made it because now like almost gone. Before we go to bed, I pretty much have dessert or something sweet most nights. I actually have an entire video on that, so I can link to that in the description too, but that's today. If you guys like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more of these full days of eating, be sure to let me know in the comments that you guys want to see more of these because that's how I know what videos to make is what you guys like. So Theo is walking around waiting for me to give him some ice cream. He knows exactly when this comes out of the freezer. So have a great night guys. I'll see you next week.